Hey, welcome back, Long Rodders. Do you guys want to learn to tie a crazy little, very productive midge pattern? We're going to get to the vise and teach you right now. We're going to start by debarbing the hook. Makes it easy to get the hook out and is less stressed on the full on the fish when you return them. Now right behind the eyelet you're going to start. I use a hot pink. You can use like a hot red or any bright color like that. And you want a orange. Now you want to start right behind the eyelet and run it all the way down. You're going to go way down into the bend of the hook with this fly. Well, I almost forgot. You have to tie in about halfway. When you get about halfway down, the way you're going to tie in, you got to tie in uh, some clear tinsel, and this is the super fine, so it's not very wide for these small flies. You're going to tie that in on, and try and keep it on top as you go down the rest of the bend of the hook. Now we're going to build up a little bit of thread base for this fly before we wrap the tinsel up now we're gonna wrap that tinsel all the way up to where we left off our thread and we'll probably cover some of it up but wrap it all the way up to right behind the eyelet Now we're going to use, get a peacock feather, and I use UV peacock, which I really like. It's pretty neat. But we're going to get one of the strands of peacock feather right below the eye. The, the, fe the feather parts right below the eye, you're going to use in this fly, are very small and fine for smaller flies. So we're going to use it right below the eyelet, or the eye of a peacock feather. Then you're going to wrap that peacock feather around the hook curl style right up to behind the eyelet. Make sure you leave enough uh, place to tie it off and whip finish right behind the eyelet and not crowd the eye of the hook. Now we whip fish it, finish this puppy, and it's done. Easy little pattern. You can tie it on size 22, 22s, 20s, 18s. Time of different sizes, and they work. So let's take a closer look at this fly.
Hey, all you long rodders, I hope you like that fly. It is killer fly, easy to tie. You can tie them up in many small sizes. These little midge patterns, they really work. And uh, some of these you can even tie, you could even use green thread, tie that up, and maybe even repre represent the green, uh, the blue winged olive, I'm sorry. Blue winged olive, use that olive. Um, I'm tying some up like that myself in a size 18, not size 20. But Anyhow, give these flies a try, tie them up. Um, we're starting with the midges. We got, I think we got two of them done. We got, we're going to do four. We're going to do uh, an emerger next. And then it'll be an adult, which is really cool. I learned this really cool trick. I hope I can show you guys this really cool trick of making a suspended tail midge, which is really cool in a size 18. Suspended tail in a size 18 or 20. Pretty neat. Anyhow, thank you for watching this video. Um, Make sure that you subscribe if you like this video. Make sure you check out all the links below in this video where you can get the vice we used in this video. You can buy beads, hooks, everything we use to tie in this video. You can buy below in the links. So please do that. Um, buy all your stuff in our links. It helps us to make extra cash to bring you better quality videos, the like stuff we want to upgrade on our video equipment and all that kind of stuff. So thank you very much if you use our links. And uh, I know the Amazon link, if you click on it and you buy anything in 24 hours, we still get a commission. So that's really cool. So go check out all the links below. And you all have a good day. Thank you for watching. Keep your lines wet, out of trees, and only give them fish a sore lip. And check out all the videos from earlier in the week. Subscribe. Subscribe. You don't want to miss any of our excuse me, upcoming videos. Thank you and have a good day.